поци час поможе тебе. May the Lord help you right now. Пусть Дух Святой сейчас сойдёт на тебя. May the Spirit of God come upon you right now. И ты откроешь твоё сердце. And you will open your heart. Бог. To God. И он наполнит тебя своей жизнью. And he will fill you with his life. Аллилуйя. Hello, bro. Welcome you to this your beloved program, Hour of Favor. There's the time, hour when God's favor falls on your life and strengthens our lives. Thank you for being with us today. I want to believe this pro, this program episodes bring blessings and strength to your life for effective Christian living. Amen. Praise the Lord. Поговорит, говорит о четвертом сезоне. And today we would continue to talk about the fourth season in the life of a believer. We said the fourth season is a season in the life of a believer when he desires to possess, uh, acquire, achieve success, knowledge. We already talked about the dangers in this period. And the second season, the second period is the season when a person seeks to impress others, uh, impress families, impress colleagues and impress others. And the third season is the season when uh, a believer wants to influence others. He wants people to look up to him. Uh, where he, as a believer, wants to transfer all that he has learned to teach others. And let me quickly say that your, pos your position in any of the seasons does not depend on your age or how old you are, but it depends on your consciousness. How conscious are you of the seasons? So, let's look at the fourth season of a believer's life. And so, we are reading Ephesians 2.10. Ephesians 2.10. It says, For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God had before ordained that we should walk in them. There is workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good work. What does this talk about? This talks about the first season of when uh, a believer strives to fulfill his destiny. I mean, this person is fully concerned uh, about pursuing his destiny and why God has created him. 
to be exponent. I'm such um, a believer is so focused on fulfilling his life's destiny. И еще раз это приходит, когда человек понимает, что слушайте, у меня вот. Now this is comes when you you are conscious of of the reason why you're here, and you you are conscious of the fact that time is not on your side. And if you don't start working on fulfilling your destiny, you may not make it. And so you are working hard to, to, to make it happen. And you're making the effort. Again, this season does not depend on the age of, of, a, of a man. Because there are people who who during their younger years they, they have spent uh, their lives uh, and all and, and, uh, and already understand why they're supposed to be here. There are people who are already above in their 40s, 50s who are only beginning to understand why they are here and their purpose in life. Uh, why are they alive? What is God's destiny? plan for them. The Apostle Paul in Ephesians 5, 15, 16 says this. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil, redeeming the time because the days are evil. In other words, Paul is saying when a believer, a man, is conscious of the fact that time is limited, that he doesn't have enough time, he has a decision to make, either to act as a wise person or to act foolishly. Because the days are evil. And when you are in this season, the Lord helps you, especially as a believer, to, to define for yourself what is most important. There's an example of Joshua 13, of Joshua, in Joshua 13.1, Joshua 13.1, it's reading, Тогда Господь сказал ему, смотри, что Господь сказал ему. Очень много. Это я добавил. То есть очень много. Господь говорит ему. Joshua, you have achieved so much. In fact, in chapter 12, he was he was talking about the victories and the kings that he had overcome. But he had achieved so much, but he hadn't finished all that he was destined and created to do. So that's why you see there is a difference in just between uh, you just achieving some success in life or reaching a level in life. Uh, but, and not fulfilling your destiny. And this is very sad that a person could be going in the wrong way in his life and by the time he realizes that he is on the wrong path, 
вот это настоящая катастрофа, представляешь? Ты думаешь, вот мое предназначение. Проповедовать Евангелие благодати Божией. Вот это было желание. This was a definite, uh, 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 a definite decision of Apostle Paul to fulfill his destiny and his purpose for living. And so I pray for you that the Lord will help you to understand why you're here. What is God's purpose for your life? That you will focus on that purpose. And someone is saying, oh, I don't know why I'm here, Pastor. Understand that your life is not just like that. You are here to bring a blessing and um, bring a positive cloud. Um, a positive influence in the life of people. And then you must define for yourself, Lord, what am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to uh, add to life? In which area of life? In my family? Is it in my society? Is it in, in, in medicine? Is it in sports? Is it in the economy? You must define for yourself where you want to bring value in life. And as soon as you have defined it, for yourself, then you begin to think on how to bring Christ into that area of life. When I talk about bringing Christ, I'm talking about you bringing the values of your faith. The values of the kingdom, all the truths and the principles of the kingdom becomes your reality as you bring it into that sphere, that area, sphere of life. For example, at your place of work, you are known as a very disciplined, hard-working believer, and also they know you as someone who is able to give godly advice according to the scripture. So this season does not depend on the age of a man. But depends on your consciousness of time, that time is not on your It's not enough and understand all that God has planned for your life. Uh, and for me, um, I understand early in life uh, that this is what I will do. And um, although I started little by little, I uh, studied uh, to be a doctor, and, uh, but in my mind I always knew that I was going to end up doing what I'm doing now. And here I am today. And this is a season where God and you are focused to fulfill God's plan for your life. Power of concern for your life. Перед самом смертью он был Апостол I have fought the good fight. Wow. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. 
сакрамео. This is a very, very nice words at the end of our life. And I would like to ask you this question today. What as you do in, so as to fulfill your destiny? Are you on the right path to fulfill your destiny? If you're doubting, this is the time to inquire from God. You can ask concretely and say, Lord, what is my destiny? Ask from the Lord. And, if, and actually, when you look at all your abilities and your giftings, these are usually insights. Uh, into the destiny God has for uh, for your life, and especially for for you as a believer, for us as believers, God is about to know that God has called you to be the light of this world, to to be a soul, to be the soul of this world. Your life as a believer. You've been called uh, that your life should glorify God. Uh, that all people uh, should look at your life and should give God praise. People should look at your life and then they should, and my life, and then should want to follow and go after God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray for you today that uh, maybe you are a in the fourth season, second season, third season, or maybe this fourth season in your life. Not, not Very importantly, whichever season you are, make sure you remain with God as you transition from one season to another season. And very interesting, in, in an area of life, maybe in the state of business, you are in 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 the second season where you are you're trying to impress people in the sphere of business in that area of life but be careful so that the love of money does not take you away from god and maybe in another area of your life you are already in the fourth stage Maybe, for example, in your sphere of uh, family life, you already understand that, oh, as a father, uh, my purpose is to give my children the best I can, I can afford, give them the best education, give them the best Christian uh, living, so that they, they, they accept and believe my, 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 my faith. And so in this spirit of your life, your family life, you're already in the fourth state, fourth season of your life. Whichever season you are right now, you, we need the grace of God. We need the grace of God to transition, to please God and not just ourselves and flesh. So I pray for us and for you now that the message of God will come into your life now and that God will give you clear direction, irrespective of the season where you are located now, that the Lord will help you to transition, to transition from season to season in your life in the name of Jesus. That you will get to the season of your life where you are positively affecting and influencing people and where you are focused on fulfilling your destiny. You know, when you know your purpose, it helps you to define immediately where to go to and where not to go to, who to talk to and who not to talk to, what discussion to be involved in and which discussions to avoid. 
Because God has given you a clear understanding. And I pray that the Lord will give you a clear direction, a clear purpose of the destiny of your life in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for giving us this season. Father, help us to transition through this season. Help us not to desire to disappoint you, O oh Lord, in our walk with you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, if you're watching and you have not given your life to Christ, I welcome you. Uh, I don't know what you're waiting for. Come on, give your life to Christ today. Dedicate your life to Him. He loves you. He loves you. He died for you. And He has the best for you today. Welcome Him into your life because he's, He died and rose again for you and is waiting for you today. Until the next episode, remain blessed and may the grace of God be sufficient for you at all times. In Jesus' name, Amen. Shalom. Amen. Shalom. Holy Spirit of a living God, Holy Spirit of a living God. Holy Spirit of Thank you.